I'll be right back with your test results, and we'll take it from there. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Why don't you take a hike, too? Because I might be the dad. Why are you here again? Because I actually give a damn about the mother. You're not helping. Excuse me? Can't you see she doesn't feel well? Oh, that's all I hear. How hard it is for Oh, Stacey. yeah, nice attitude, Dad. You have no right okay, to get involved. Okay, you guys, just stop it, please. You want her gone? Rex, can you please wait outside? I just cannot handle all this squabbling. Yeah. You too. Except I left you like ten messages. Yeah, I know. I know that. Um, I wanted to tell you face to face. It's Connor. You're not here to say goodbye, are you? Uh huh. Where do you think you're going? No. I'm not trying to ban this dinner. No, you're not, yes, Todd. Yes, I am. Why would you think I was leaving? Because that's what you said the last time I saw you. Yeah, but you said it was a crummy idea. It was. Oh, you still think so, or you, you change your mind? No, I don't want you to leave. Especially because Rex told you to do it. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. So, I'm, yeah, I'm staying. Excellent! I'll convince you to stay. You did? I will go until the doctor comes back with the results. Thank you. Did you have to pick a fight with him? Yeah, girl, you need to focus and we need a plan right now. I thought we had a plan. The doctor's gonna tell me that I had a miscarriage. And then Rex and I are just gonna comfort each other. And then what? I, I really don't know. Yeah, well, you better figure it out because in about 15 minutes, Rex is gonna find out you're not pregnant. <sighs> he is doing his best to try to be grown up about us being friends. Wow. Well, that's good. Besides, he's very busy holding Stacy's hand at the doctor these days. See, I told you it was normal. <laughs> they say cravings. They don't say what for. Pickled beets. Ew. Is that a good book? It's helped us a lot. Is this your first? Uh, my second. But it's the first time that I've been able to be here from the beginning. So, I want in on all of it. I feel sick. Of course you do. You just had a painful, tragic miscarriage. I think the doctor will be able to tell it happened weeks ago. Probably. I'm done. Look, I never said this was going to be easy, but I promise I'll make this work. So don't you dare give up. How am I going to convince Dr. Baez to lie about the miscarriage? You don't. Well, then Rex is going to know I've been lying. Uh-uh, you just found out yourself. You're just as shocked as he is. Tammy, I remember that night, okay? It's not like I didn't notice it. Oh, you mean the night your bitch sister showed up and tried to get you to have an abortion? Yeah. Well, of course you remember it. You were a total wreck. It made you physically sick. Oh, yeah, it did. Mm-hmm. And you may have had some bleeding, but you thought that was totally normal. Which is... Why I didn't say anything because I... You were better the next day. And I didn't want to upset Rex more than Gigi had already done. With her evil baby-killing ways. So I just went on. And you thought you dodged a bullet and everything was okay until just now. Why are you not running the world? The hours would suck. <laughs> this works. Mm-hmm. I mean, you not only get pity points, but you also get major, major guilt. Plus, your sister looks like the Wicked Witch. Okay, so can you distract Rex while I'm talking to Dr. Baez? I just want to make sure the stories work out. Yeah, no problem. I'll take care of it. Okay, Stacy, we have your results. I'll be outside. Uh-uh, nope, I'm not letting you in there. I can't blame Rex for wanting to do right by his kid. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to pretend that you're okay with him spending time with Stacy. Especially if she's still playing him. Uh, I'm sorry, am I missing something? Stacy faked being Shane's stem cell mashed, didn't she? So what if there's more to the story, too? 
Why don't you just tell me? I, I already have a feeling. About what? Well, something's not right with this pregnancy. Move. Forget it. What is your problem? Stacy's getting a pelvic exam. So? Uh, it's part of the process? Not for you, jerk. Look, I am here to be part of this. No, you're here like a hostage. You don't want to share in the experience with Stacy. Stacy could drop dead and still give you your baby. You'd be happy. Wouldn't you? This is not the perfect situation for anyone. Exactly. So why should she expose herself to you? Well, what do you think's going on? This. Why do you think something's wrong, Stacy? Oh, because a while back I had this spotting. And well, it didn't prevent you from getting pregnant. What? Your tests show that you're a few days pregnant. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, good grief. Because I have enough to handle without another kid in the mix. Okay, okay. all right. Talk biology, I'm still a guy, though. I mean. So what's the deal with the test? I found it in Stacy's garbage. So? So... What does a pregnant woman need with a whole pregnancy test? I don't know. Do you think it's possible that Stacy isn't really pregnant? I can't be pregnant. <laughs> the results are right here. Okay, but I took one of those home pregnancy tests. You can get a false negative from those, especially this early on. How early? Uh, according to your HCG levels, I'd say you're about three days, a week at the most. What did? I'm pregnant. I mean, you're like absolutely 100% <laughs> sure. The results are right here. <laughs> I'm sure that's completely normal. <laughs> Why were you trash diving at Rex's again? Because when we showed up today, Stacy and her little partner in crime were acting like they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar, and Stacy's been fighting going to the doctor. But the doctor confirmed that Stacy's pregnant. Yeah, I know. We all heard the doctor with their own ears. Right. So my question is, why does Stacy need another pregnancy test? Is everything okay? Stacy's getting dressed, and she has to see Kim. Smart girl. I'm pregnant. Oh, oh my gosh. Shh. We didn't even need our great story. Fist did the trick. Unfreaking believable. Right? I finally get a break. <laughs> yeah, girl, this is good. This is good. This is so good, but we still have a little bit of work to do. Right, timing. Yeah. I mean, if he finds out I just got pregnant, I'm screwed. Okay, so for now, we keep Rex in the jar. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is uh, from a test that Stacy took a long time ago. She can be a real slob. Not even Stacy keeps garbage from three months ago. Okay. Uh, could be Kim's. Yeah, I know. But if it is Stacy's, how would this work? Uh, she'd fake a pregnancy test to corner Rex and then, what, try to get pregnant to back it up? you and Stacy want to keep me in the dark about? Um, baby names. Yeah. Like? Uh, we're not going to tell you Stacy came up with the perfect name. Mm -hmm. And that's what all the noise was about. Mm -hmm. See, he's no fun at all. Let me in on it. Maybe I will be. Or maybe you'll be a pill and ruin it for Stacy. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay, Stacy. I have a prescription here for some prenatal vitamins. And I would like to see you again in four weeks. Sure. Any questions? Um, no, I'm great. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I, um, I uh, have some questions of my own for the doctor. 